G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Now, a few of you guys have asked what my camera settings are for AFL Evolution 2, so I thought I would make a quick video going through the settings. I changed them about a year and a half ago. I love that view of being like behind the player, sort of that end-to-end -end dynamic view. It used to be in AFL Live, but I had to change a couple of settings to get the view that I use. Um, so we're gonna go through and have a look at them right now. Firstly though, I wanna give a quick shout out to a great website called Poggers. Poggers is Jakey Rossitani's website and it is a place where you can buy all equipment for streaming and gaming. The goal at Poggers is to bring the highest quality in-depth and detailed hardware for any elite computer systems. The vision is to take elite creatives looking to go to the next level, whether you're a photographer, movie maker, gamer, or looking to build your first custom PC. And to be honest, I've been really, really impressed by the work that Jakey Rossitani's put into it. It's got everything, really. It's got everything if you want to be a content creator, if you want to be a gamer, if you want to be a streamer. If you're not sure what equipment to sink your teeth into, Poggers is the place to go. I'll put the link down below. And yeah, get around Jakey Rossitani's website. All right, let's get into the video. Let's go down to camera. So this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a quick video. Um, I'm end to end. I'm near. So obviously it follows end to end and it's quite close. And then I felt like it was looking down too much and I couldn't look down along the ground. I'm not sure what these numbers usually are. Um, yeah, I don't know. I swear I tweaked them more, but my zoom is 50. My height is 45. And my marking is look at the ball. That's probably the most annoying one. Look at the ball is annoying for marking because when you hit the triangle kick that just clears the footy out of the contest, it goes really, really high. And then you can't see where you are in the marking contest to be able to body. But alternatively, if it goes straight to cut to landing, you can't see the ball in order to time the body either. So I just spoil most of my marking contests. Uh, but yeah. That is my camera settings. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any more questions about what I do in AFL Evolution 2, hit me down in the link below. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helped a few of you out there. I appreciate the support and I'll see you all very, very soon for more content. Cheers, guys.